Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. Uh, today I want to talk, uh, brief, uh, spend a little bit of time talking about the controversy that's been going on in Magic the Gathering uh, over the last little while. Uh, we um, we went, uh, you know, there's been all the Black Lives uh, Matter protests and uh, recently uh, they, uh, they banned an artist or, or stopped I guess stopped commissioning an artist, um, one of the more iconic artists of uh, Magic Gathering's history, uh, for what they perceived was uh, some racist uh, likes of some tweets and um, some very right-wing kind of uh, leanings. Uh, so uh, yeah, I just want to spend a little bit of time get into it. What does that What does that mean? Uh, so uh, quickly before I get into it, uh, we will be doing uh, we will be doing a um, we will be doing. I will be announcing over the next day uh, our next uh, promo box special. Uh, it will be Core 2021 uh, heavy, definitely a collector booster. I know I keep mentioning it. Uh, I just want to put together the final details, make it good for you guys. So um, I gotta check uh, my pricing on some of the stuff so that I don't uh, give you. You know, uh, I'm not spending fifty dollars on forty dollars of cards to give you guys. I gotta at least break even on these things. So um, it's even nice if I make a quarter. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to just kind of break even on them by the time I send them to you guys. So I want to make it uh, fair for you. Uh, I do get some pretty good deals on, on some of this stuff a little bit better as, as we get bigger. I have a little bit more clout and I can get a little bit better pricing, which I then pass on to you guys. So we, we should, in theory, over time get more and more as the channel grows. So anyways, um, so yeah, so the, uh, the first thing was, uh, you know, about a week ago, uh, there was some bannings of some cards, uh, and they've removed them from the gatherer because they they had either you know kind of offensive or racist uh, either imagery or uh, imagery or or names uh, with them, uh, and uh, you know so what does that mean for us? I think it, you know there's some there's some value in you know as a collector having those cards because you know. They are never being reprinted now, so they become in those. They go in those list of cards that are not going to be reprinted. Um, I, I think you can be fairly safe that those seven cards are now basically reserve list. They will not be reprinted again. Um, it is always possible they'll rehash them with, you know, different art and different keywords. But odds are they're just going to stay away from them in, the, in this case. Um, so you will probably never see those cards again. Um, I don't know if you were going to see. Uh, some of them are crap. Uh, so I don't know if you're gonna see them again, anyways, uh, because no one really wanted them. So you know you got to be careful on these in uh, investments, right? Because a crap card, whatever it's called, is still is still crummy, and we're we're kind of seeing that with Death Godzilla, Death Friend. You know he's it's just he's not that good. He's he's okay. He's he's kind of playable, but he's not. He's just not strong enough. He was if he was a mythic strong card. Uh, and uh, and they get a limited print run to, print run on. It would mean a lot more than there's there's quite a few of them, and so the demand's just not. I don't think the demand's going to be there for that card. I don't see that card becoming a. And also, people were paying three four hundred dollars to get them, uh, pre order them and stuff at the beginning, uh, and I just don't see that ever becoming a thing. Five years from now, does anyone is anyone going to care once we get a cure for what's going on? Uh, or some kind of thing. I don't think people are going to care about it. So, uh, so those cards, uh, the the ones that were banned, uh, I'm sure if you've been paying attention at all, uh, were uh, Invoke Prejudice. Uh, again, not, you know, some of these cards, I, I'd never even heard of the card. Uh, Cleanse. Uh, Stone Throwing Devils. I don't think that was ever going to be reprinted anyways. Uh, uh, Jihad actually, I think, wasn't isn't a bad card. Imprison with Playable. So some of these cards will hold some value, but I think now the prices have went up because people bought them out uh, that it's not worth buying them. You know, are they going to go up so much? Are they going to become $500 cards? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. So, uh, Pradesh, Gypsies, and Crusade. Uh, Crusade, of course, that one was a little surprising to me. I, I, it's a, sorry, it's a card that has been reprinted a number of times. Uh, it's to me, it's considered you know you kind of consider it a classic kind of. Magic Gathering card, very playable in all kinds of formats. They've made better versions of it these days, and so, you know, I don't know if we were gonna, we might have seen it reprinted, uh, but I don't think it's uh, it's a it's a one that they're gonna rush to reprint again, just because it's simply just a little underpowered now. And it used to be, I remember when I started, 
uh, it was reasonably powerful card. You know, all your creatures got plus one, plus one. Uh, that was that was pretty good. Nowadays, it just doesn't really cut it. No one's really thinking that you know getting all your one ones to two two for that cost is is really worth it. Um, there's just there's better things that you know they might have that and then they plus have something else. It's a little bit of an upside to it as well because everything becomes so powerful. I mean, I'm seeing some of the cards come out from Jumpstart in 2021, uh, and I'm I'm just looking at them like holy cow! Like they just they do a lot, a lot for little mana. You know, uh, it, it seems like the ramp is is going crazy. So. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that was that's the uh, the the banned uh, cards for for sort of races. Um, the next one was kind of interesting in that uh, it got a lot of play, and and I think you know, match. I think Wizards of the Coast is well within the right whether they want to, for whatever reason, they want to hire fire artists or commission artists. I don't know what the deal is when they're commissioning art pieces. Um, I doubt they're employees. They're probably into. They're uh, probably independently hired, so they're probably just hired for those pieces. Um, and so it, it becomes so easy if anyone just, you know, takes steps a toe out of line. And that's kind of the world we're in where people just don't have the rights uh, of being hired, of, you know, being in a union or something where, let's let's be honest, I mean, Therese Nielsen never fired. She's in the union. <laughs> never fired. She'd still be doing stuff for forever. You know, they should have support. But because of, because she's so easy to just get rid of, you know, they can make that thing. And someone who's had a, a long history, over 20 years making cards for the game, um, one of the better artists, uh, and and to just all of a sudden not be using her, and her name's kind of got drawn through the mud. Now, I don't necessarily know that I agree with some of the beliefs that she seems to have. I mean, it, it seems like she's got some pretty gross beliefs, uh, but... You know, she made Force of Will. Force of Will, one of the iconic cards in Magic the Gathering's history. Um, no, I don't think it's on the reserve list, but, I mean, they haven't reprinted it, and, you know, you, you can imagine they're only going to reprint it. They're only going to reprint it in some kind of special, fancy version. Uh, you know, is it possible her card... I know there's some talk that she's got a card in Zendikar in the fall. Uh, it's possible that her card is Force of Will, uh, and that it's some kind of new version of it for... Uh, you know, they're, they're seeding them in, right? It's some kind of fancy version of it. So, would not surprise me if that's the card. Um, and they won't pull her from that. I don't I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, kind of so many cards she's done. Uh, Baron Spite is a card that I think is underrated that she that she did the art for uh, back in the day. Factor Fiction, which was a, a super huge uncommon for a long time. Still good to play if you play it. Um, Urtai Wizard Adept, really good card. Sam my dollar a, a chroma angel of wrath was just an absolute bomb uh, when it was uh, originally printed back in I think it was onslaught it was just such a bomb you got it on the table it was, it was just gross the, the damage you did with that card so uh, anyways it's it does say something to how we value people and I, I I'd like to think Wizards of the Coast you know try to uh, give her chances and talk to her and you know, do the proper th proper things that you would treat treat a person or an employee. You know, whatever her her views. Um, it did seem like you know she did come out and say a kind of an apology at one point uh, for some stuff that she'd supported. Uh, I'm just not sure. Um, did they do enough? You know, did they do enough? Is it is it right? Is it right that we're you know, firing people for their jobs just because of a, a political view they have that is outside of the game? Um, you know, I always say, you know, if, if you want to hate people, hate people. Just, you know, as long as it doesn't affect anybody and you're not spreading it to my kids. And, you know, you, you, you do have a right to, I, I guess, you know, as, as a freedom of speech thing and as, as freedom, you, you, you are supposed to have a right to believe whatever you want to believe. Uh, and people aren't really supposed to be able to take that away from you. And and so I wonder with the, uh, you know, firing people just for, you know, maybe liking tweets or or. Or, or doing a few things on their own personal time, you know, is that a precedent we want to really do? Because, I mean, it just takes, I mean, any of us, I'm sure anyone who's been significantly on any kind of chat groups on politics or, or Facebook, you probably at some point, you must have, you, odds are you've said something that wasn't, that wasn't 100% agreed with all of society. I mean, that's part of learning and, and talking. I mean, I mean, if you went through if you went through my history of, of chatting on Facebook, sometimes I say things just because I want to see the other side, you know. And and so the people deserve to be fired by that. I mean, I don't know. so 
Uh, that said, I mean, whoever anyone wants, uh, from my end, I mean, whoever you want to sleep with, whatever color you are, I mean, hey, you, you know, you're a good person, you treat people well, um, I got all the time in the world for you, so, uh, uh, you know, I don't really care what people do in their own houses, uh, in their own, in their own privacy, or their own home, I don't care, you know, don't, just as long as those people are, are willing and, you know, of age and you're not forcing anything upon anybody, you know, you're good with me, so, um, anyway, uh, so, uh, Therese Nielsen, eh, fired from, uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy, so, um, I have a couple artists that I really, really like, um, one in particular, which I've, I've talked to a couple times, and, uh, he's, he's been a little bit of, a little bit of a supporter of the channel, uh, and, uh, I mean, I know it would just be, I would be devastated if that was to be, that was to be him, I can't imagine that he would get into those kind of things, but, you don't know, you know, you don't know what people's past experiences are and why they would be, uh, have an, an issue with the pigment in someone's skin or, uh, or a women or men or, uh, people from other countries. You just don't know what their backgrounds are. Uh, and, and so it's hard to really judge someone on a couple of, a couple of tweets or likes. It'd be nice to think that we, we give everyone a chance and, and dig deeper into why they're saying the things they're saying. Um, because the dialogue is the most important thing. So. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, there is definitely, you know, you might want to look into some of these cards. Uh, Therese has some really valuable cards. I can imagine that Force of Will now uh, is only gonna get more valuable because they're, they're, they're first certainly they're never gonna reprint it um, with the artwork that she she had, uh, and it's already such a wanted card anyways. It's not going anywhere for value. It's it's a fantastic card. Cards like Factor Fiction. Uh, really great cards uh, that she uh, she was a big part of. Acroma, Angel of Wrath, still a good card. Uh, some of these cards, uh, you know, the fact that they're not going to be reprinted, there's probably going to be some value in them uh, in the future. So you might want to watch those. Uh, anyways, we do. I will be doing some more uh, previews of Jumpstart uh, and uh, and of course at 2021, which I'm kind of behind on. Uh, I know we're you know a lot of the previews are done. I want to give my, kind of my spin on on some of the cards. Uh, really excited for course at 2021. Uh, we will be offering more singles uh, on the channel uh, to patrons. Um, so, especially on the newer sets, I should have some around. Um, I'm going to be trying to get a little bit more proactive on that. Now that I'm getting a little bit more organized with the channel, uh, I will uh, start to be keeping more of a list of cards that I have available for you guys. So, uh, you know, consider becoming a patron. We will give uh, really good deals to patrons. I can't give the same deals to, to regular people. I mean, they support the channel so much. Um, you support us, we support you. Um, so, anyways. Uh, everybody, uh, have a magical day. Uh, it is Father's Day when I'm filming this, so if you are a father, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, Dash is uh, being a lazy bum. Uh, I'm going to do something with him shortly. And, uh, yeah, everybody, uh, take care.